Hi everyone, Judy Tucker here. I just wanted to share with you, uh, especially for beginners who have never done uh, an, a, a resin art project, but maybe you want to do that. Um, I did my first one yesterday and I made a ton of mistakes. So I thought I would share a few things with you um, that that would be very, probably very helpful to you. Um, I did a cabinet. I'm working on little, it's just a little cabinet. It's got a little drawer in it and it's got, you know, little double doors down at the bottom that you can store, store things in. Just a little cabinet and I was just doing the top of the cabinet. Um, and so here, here are some things and they're not in any particular order. They're just things I thought of uh, as I was, before I was doing this video. Uh, just to be just to share with you so that you'll know to have these be prepared be totally prepared before you start an art resin or a resin art uh, project uh, this uh, piece is about a 20 by 32 inch is what it is so it's, it wasn't a really huge space um, but still there were some things that I just wasn't prepared for first of all resin is very very sticky and it will get everywhere if you don't have things close to you to use in any given instance. So the first thing, uh, one of the things that you need to do is just make sure that your art project, whatever it is that you're working on, is level. Uh, and just because it's a cabinet, you might think that it's level, but it may not be. Or you may be working on a table and you might think it's it's level, it, but it may not be because it, your, your resin is going to to uh, level out and it's going to go the direction that that it's sitting so you want to make sure that it's perfectly level before you start secondly just have a, have a trash can close because you may want to dump something quickly uh, and again like I said resin will get everywhere so have a trash can handy have plenty of stirrers uh, you know have have them close so that you can grab those to stir your paints uh, or to use to, to drag your paint across your resin. You want plenty of those. Uh, you want to have uh, an empty bucket. Uh, I used a, a, just an ice cream bucket, an old ice cream bucket that I had just to throw stirs in, things that you're done with, again, so that the resin doesn't get all over things you don't want it to get into. Um, when you start to mix your resin, make sure that part A and part B is mixed equal. Um, and pour your part B in first, and then you'll pour the part A. It's, it's much thicker. Um, but make sure they're in equal parts. If they aren't, it's not going to set properly. Also, make sure you stir for at least three minutes. Longer, four if you can. I stirred mine for three to four minutes, and it, and it came out perfect. Uh, if you're using latex paint, make sure that you uh, thin your paint with a little bit of water. Uh, you want to make sure it is not thick, like you were putting it on a, like you were painting something, that it's usually paint is thick. So you want to thin that out, because if you don't, that paint is going to sit above your resin and it's just going to cause you to have to use more resin once it hardens you're going to have to add more resin a, a more of a clear spot on a clear flow on top of that uh, to cover those that exceed above the resin so make sure you thin your paint out um let me see oh, mix extra resin i would i would mix maybe even a couple of ounces more than what you need i know that may be a waste but you want to have it in case you need it um, i ran out and did not have enough uh, on my project uh, when i was first putting it on so um, make sure you you have just uh, maybe a couple of ounces more than what your project calls for um, wear two or three pairs of gloves um, when you when you put your gloves on put three two or three pairs on because if you get your hands in resin or if you need to pick something up and you've got resin all over your gloves whatever you touch is going to have leave resin and it's going to be very sticky so say for instance i used resin i use my gloves to spread the resin on. I didn't use a paintbrush or a roller I because my space was a fairly small space. I just used my 
uh, the gloves that I had on and I spread I spread the the resin to level out uh, the best way I could then I took those gloves off and I had another pair uh, on top of it so that that worked out perfectly and that way you're not having to pick up things that you already have you, know, you have resin on your gloves so we're extra gloves you can peel those off and then you've got another clean pair on underneath it uh, it's that's it's very smart to do that next thing I is to have a trowel or a I don't know a putty knife or I, I'm not sure exactly what they're called just in case like I, I had to end up scraping my first first one off because I made a terrible terrible mistake and you don't want that uh, resin to get hard and ruin your whole piece so I had to take a a putty knife and I scraped that all of it off and it was a mess so make sure you've got that close just in case you may never need it but it doesn't hurt to be prepared the next thing you need to do is have a spray bottle of alcohol alcohol is great for um, making just some interesting patterns in your paint uh, I added I actually have uh, two spray bottles of alcohol and I have two different uh, powders, uh, their uh, glittery powders in each one. One's for one's more of a silver, one's more of a copper bronze color, uh, and they add just a great texture, a great um, uh, a great look to your piece. So have those handy. Make sure you shake them before you spray. Have your hair dryer. You need a hair dryer to help. Uh, spread your paint and your epoxy to, to get more of a natural look uh, than uh, without that. So your your hair dryer is very important. The other next thing is you need, you need to make sure you have your torch. Make sure it's handy because your torch uh, helps um, take the bubbles out of the resin. When, normally when you put resin down uh, it could be it will form some bubbles and the best way to get those out is with a torch and you just kind of torch across the top of it let it set for a minute and then torch again and your bubbles will come out uh, very nicely uh, make sure the sides are are covered with resin uh, you don't want the sides to be bare you know or it's going to make your whole piece look awkward so make sure you get enough resin on the side and make sure you, if you're doing like a cabinet, make sure you tape your bottom part of your cabinet off with plastic because that, again, that resin gets everywhere and you'll have to sand good if you happen to get uh, resin on that cabinet. Um, have a plan for what you want your art piece to look like. I got way too much color on this piece. I had an idea of what I wanted and then I couldn't stop with adding more latex paint. So get an idea of what you want and then quit. Uh, that's what experts say is know when to quit because you don't want to keep adding paint. You know, don't don't stray from what you what you had what you have envisioned for your project. Don't overdo it. So, so you know, less is better in some cases. So, um, I actually wanted more white. I wanted more of a marble look uh, on mine, and I end up adding way too much paint on this. But again, it's it's something you'll learn along the way. So, it normally takes about twelve hours just to to see if your uh, resin is going to set, and it should set if you followed the instructions on the. Uh, mixing the epoxy in equal parts stir 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 that is that is valuable that you stir it and mix it up properly so um, just make sure that you do all that and your project should sit perfectly fine um, but don't be afraid you really can't mess up uh, because every piece you make is going to be different it's going to have your own look of what you want it's all a creation so um, anyway, this is uh, just a, a short, brief uh, beginner's preparation video. I know I didn't go over mixing epoxy or that kind of thing or show you how to do that, but it's pretty simple, half and half. Um, and then just make sure that you have enough epoxy on hand to finish your project and finish it well. You're going to have to, once your um, resin begins to come down the sides of your project, you're going to have to watch for drips. 
Um, so just make sure, and, and those things will drip for hours. So you may have to hit it six or seven times, watch it six or seven times through that 12 hour process before it sets to make sure that you, uh, uh, get all the drips from the side. You don't want that to show because it'll, it'll look, it'll look like it, you put resin on there and you want it to look natural. So anyway, I hope that helped. Uh, I know I rushed through this, but um, I learned some valuable lessons. Um, and I don't, I want everybody to be set and be prepared. Have all your stuff handy on a table where you can get to it quickly. Uh, you don't want uh, to mess around with any this resin getting thick before you get all your paints mixed and your and your streaks made or however you're doing yours. You want to make sure that you get everything set and have it at hand uh, so that it that you don't uh, you're not trying to uh, look around for things that you already should have had on hand. So anyway, hopefully this helped. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to make a comment and I'll get back with you as quick as quickly as I can. Judy Tucker, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.